Welcome everyone with the brand new iPad OS 16. If you slide down from the far right hand side, we now have this new toggle. This is the stage manager toggle. Uh, you may know it as a Mac OS desktop style mode. And so it allows you to enhance the multitasking. And in a future iPad OS 16 update, you can connect to an external monitor and you can have a dual monitor setup. So to get this started, you just need to open up an application of choice. Let's say settings. By default, you know, the application is going to look regular in the full screen, okay? I'm going to switch to light mode, so, you know, my reflection everywhere. And in order to, you know, get the party started, you have two options. You either slide from the left like so. You can also use your magic keyboard. You just push, keep on pushing until the, uh, the side panel shows up. And you can drag and drop. That's the first way. The second way is where this little if a white curve or black curve is, you just slide up and left a little bit and then release. And once you've done either of those two things, you can see we're now in the multitasking view. So I've added two apps here, but by default, you're only gonna have one app. So you can add more apps up to four by dragging and dropping from the dock, or you have the side panel here with your four recently opened up apps. You can also add an app by tapping on the triple dots add another window and then you can add any application from the multitasking okay so i'm going to select the app store and now i have a dual app set up i'm going to long press drag and drop photos for whatever reason the photos app has gone full screen so i'm going to slide up and left and you can see you have the photos here the settings the app store let's do one more drag and drop and now we have four applications so you see where the triple dots are? You can use this to move the applications around, okay? You can also use the magic keyboard trackpad as well. In order to resize, if you're using touch, you resize with this little curve on the side. With the magic keyboard, you can pinch the edges, okay? So you can see left hand side, it shows this little icon here. You can move it around and you can even do the corners as well. If you click or tap, you can highlight the application in question. Depending on how much screen real estate you use, the side panel here may not show okay. So if it hides, that just means you're using up too much space. You can, if you want more space in this Mac OS desktop mode on the stage manager, if you go to settings, and then you're gonna find where it says display and brightness, and then a the view, you can change the view to more space and this will allow you to have more screen real estate, okay? Because it will just make everything smaller, right? It will, uh, you know, help with the space department. You can see a preview of that one right there. On top of this, if we tap on the triple dots, uh, you have the option to make the app full screen, which you can also do by sliding down and right is the first way. The second way is you can minimize the application and it will just show in this area right here. And top of this, you can close out the application as well. So let's open up the settings. And if we go to home screen and multitasking, you're going to see the stage manager option here. If you tap on this, you have the toggle to turn on the raw stage manager. But again, that is accessible by the control center. And you can also customize the layout. So this button here doesn't really do anything, okay? Uh, in the future, it will help with uh, the external monitor, etc. But right now, it uh, doesn't have that support. But what you can change right now is the dock. So if you want the dock to be hidden, okay, and you have to swipe up every time to access it, you can select that. I personally think you should use that. And a recent apps, if you want the recent apps to be hidden, you can do that as well. Now, if you hide this recent apps view, let me show how that works, okay? So right now, Recent apps will always show up regardless, right? If I turn off recent apps, I need to slide with my magic keyboard to access the view or use my finger, okay? So you can still access it. Same with the dock, you can still access the dock. You just need to slide up. If I turn on the dock, the dock will be always on and it will take up a little bit of screen real estate. Uh, with recent apps, if you do use too much space, it does automatically hide itself, right? So I honestly think recent apps you should keep on dock you should turn off because that allows you to 
use up more room. So with that being said, thanks for watching. See you guys later. Check out my iPad videos on my channel. Bye-bye.